Hello everyone and welcome to this webinar for architects and, and BIM managers where I will show you some benefits of AGE CAD's BIM solution for Revit, BIM Tree Manager. I want to say a big thank you to the, those of you who attended. And now I can introduce myself. My name is Yava Yonulevichuta and I am an architect and a BIM consultant at AGE CAD. Our mission is building them together, which means that we align our clients' needs and develop solutions for continuous BIM acceleration. Our promise to clients is reducing BIM stress. We help to eliminate tasks that do not create value. And in this webinar for architects, you will find out how to view, group, and modify project elements in a tree. BIM Tree Manager groups and quantifies objects in different sections that allow you to get more information about your BIM model. Create new shared parameters for selected elements directly in the dialog. Easily change parameter values of hundreds of grouped or sorted elements. Replace elements with new ones and transfer their parameter values. Replace curtain walls with windows that adjust to existing curtain wall size automatically. Insert elements by related objects. Instantly insert elements of to, to the building objects into a project by predefined rules. Sort and renumber Revit elements automatically because powerful sort mark tool allows to number elements in different ways and renumber Revit grids. BIM Tree Manager is an advanced solution for quality control in building information modeling based on international best practices and the experience of top Revit users. The software's dynamic auto tree interface makes it amazingly simple to find and isolate elements in current or linked Revit models, verify geometry and data at any level of, of development, and quickly fill in gaps or fix mistakes in real time. With PIM Tree Manager, you will be able to control projects better with significant savings of time increase productivity, enhance workflow and BIM model quality by managing hundreds of grouped or sorted elements automatically. BIM Tree Manager works like external application that allows users to work with the project without closing the dialog. So, I already have a Revit project open, so let's just jump right into demonstration. I'll run BIM Tree Manager and right now it's collecting BIM data from the project and analyzing available model categories. And I will select doors and windows for this example. OK. And at this point it, it's collecting model elements for doors and windows categories and their parameter values. So I can see that my elements are grouped in a tree also, Revit shows a table with all these elements and functions to modify them. So, for example, I will group these elements by category, family, and type. OK. And right now, I can browse through them by category, doors, and windows. Also, by family and type. I can also add new categories not only doors and windows at this point, and I can also add additional parameters to this table by using function add remove columns. So, for example, I will add with have and function. Okay. And as you can see, now I can see the function and width and have. I actually wanted to add functionality. Add, move up, OK. There we go. We can see the functionality with and have of our doors and windows as well. And right now I can modify these elements in many different ways. For example, uh, I can sort and renumber Revit elements automatically. I will go to first level and as you can see my doors are already tagged 
and numbered. But let's see that I need to renumber them by different criteria. In order to do that, I would have to go to every door type, edit it, and rewrite, and rewrite type mark manually. But with BIM Tree Manager, I can do all of that automatically. So, for example, I will create a mark that will consist of letter D for door, then letter E for exterior and letter I for interior and its unique type number like 01, 02 and so on. I will go to the entry manager again and I will select doors in my BIM tree. So right now I will add different parameters. Add remove columns. I will remove with and hit because I don't need them right now. I will also add type mark because I want to change this parameter's value. I want to renumber all doors. OK. And I can see the existing type mark values. So right now, if I want my type mark to write E, I or E for interior or exterior, I need to create a new shared parameter for, for all doors and write the letters to it. So I can also do that with BIM Tree Manager. Now I will show you how I can create a new shared, for, shared parameter for all doors. First of all, I will select them and use function create new shared parameter. I will name it exterior or interior. I will leave this as is. OK. And now the tool is creating this new shared parameter for every selected element in my project. And after the parameter is created, I will also fill in the values with BIM Tree Manager. I will filter the doors by interior or exterior and enter the values. So as you can see, the shared parameter is already created. And if I would select a door from a project, any door, and go to its type properties, I will be able to see my just created parameter, but it doesn't have a value yet. I'm about to change that. So, first of all, I will, I can filter my exterior or interior doors so that it would be easier for me to fill in the values in my new parameter. So I will go ahead and do that by clicking on exterior cell and using function filter by selected data. Now, I will select my newly created shared parameter column and use function change value. And I will write letter E for exterior doors. OK. And now the tool is writing the letter E into my parameter. I can already see it. Now I will filter my interior doors. I will click on interior, use filter by selected data. Now we'll select my created shared parameters column. And again, use function change value. And I will enter a letter I for interior. OK. The tool just filled in the values for every door. And I can see that in the door type properties as well. I will select any door, for example, exterior this time. I will go to type properties. And I can see my created parameter and its value in the doors type properties. So right now I can create the type mark. I can rewrite the value. So for that, I will select type mark column and use function 
sort mark. And now I will create a different sort mark to write in doors type mark parameter. I will number these doors by type name. Add. I will sort them by element position X. And now we will create my sort mark. I will add my created shared parameter. So I will tick show all parameters and find my created parameter. And there it is. I will add it. And now I will untick it and select add calculated sort mark number. This is the calculated unique number uh, by sort mark tool in BIM Tree Manager. I will also write a letter D before this parameter and a dash after it. And my calculated sort mark number will consist of two digits and start from number one, so it will be 01, 02, and so on. Okay. And right now the tool is renumbering type mark. Yes, the type mark is renumbered. I can go to my project. And as you can see, I am in the first level right now. And all the doors, all interior doors, have letter I in its type mark. And all exterior doors have letter E and its unique type number. If I would select any door and go to its type properties, I would also see that in the type mark parameter. Doors are also renumbered in second and third levels. With BIM Tree Manager, you can also replace elements with new elements and transfer their parameter values. For example, I have these doors with a railing, but these single panel do doors doesn't have a railing, and let's say that I want to replace it with a different door family. In order to do that, I would have to create that door type and enter the width and height parameters manually, maybe other param parameters as well. For example, I just renumbered all my doors, and if I would change them, these uh, parameters would change as well. For example, my just create type mark would not be the same anymore. So I would have to renumber them manually again. But with BIM Tree Manager, I can replace all these doors and keep their parameter values, transfer them. So I will go to BIM Tree Manager and I will see these single panel do doors. I will also configure my grouping by functionality because I want to see exterior doors. Okay. So right now I can see doors grouped by exterior and interior. And I want to see exterior ones. And I think that these, yes these doors. I want to change them all to a different type and transfer their parameter values. So I will use function replace element with mapping. Now I can choose from every door that is loaded in my project. So as I said I want uh, to replace these doors with a door that has a railing. So I will choose this one, click OK. And now I have to choose parameters that I want to transfer. So I will transfer with and height because I want my doors to be the same dimensions, to have the same dimensions. And I will also transfer 
type mark because I've just renumbered all my type marks and I want them to be transferred. I don't want to renumber them again. I will also transfer the function function because these doors will be exterior as well and I will transfer my newly created shared parameter because I don't want to create all of those all over again and I will map them to width to width, height to height and so on. Okay? And now the tool is replacing all these elements and transferring their parameter values. As you can see, the door has been replaced and now I have these doors with railing. And if I would select one of these doors and go to its type properties, I will see that the type mark has been transferred. Also, my created share parameter and width and height. With BIM Tree Manager, you can also insert elements by related objects. For example, I will go to First Level Ceiling Plan and I will insert a ceiling-based lightning fixture, a lamp, to every standard room. I will go to BIM Tree Manager again. And right now, I don't need doors and windows anymore for this task, so I will select Room Category because I will be placing an element by rooms. It's reading the project again. I will deselect doors and windows and select rooms. Okay. And now it's collecting all rooms for, from the project and its parameter values. So. Right now, I can go to first level rooms. They're already grouped. And right now I can see only them. And as I said, I want to, I want to add lightning fixtures only to the standard rooms. That is a room name. So I will filter standard rooms. I will select them all. I can also select a couple of them, but I will select all of them. And I will use function insert elements by related objects, that is by these rooms. And I will find a lamp. I will add it and insert to model. And 15 elements have been inserted. And as you can see, my standard rooms have a lamp inserted now. With BIM Tree Manager, you can also renumber Revit grids. For example, let's say that in this stage of a project, I have to add a couple of new grids. Right here, I will add here and another one, horizontal grid. So I would have to go through all these grids and renumber them manually. And that would take up a lot of time, especially if I would delete some of them later or add them again. So, for example, I can even delete one. And now I have even more renumbering to do. So, with Vimtry Manager, I can do all of that automatically. Once again, I will select a different category. I don't need rooms anymore. Now I will select grids. grids. Okay. Now it gave me all information about my grids in the project and I can select all these grids. They are selected in the project as well. And I will use function again sort mark. So right here I can see that horizontal grids are filtered and I can see my 40 grid that I've just added. And if I filter vertical grids, I can see the 39th 
38th and 39th grid as well. And with sort mark I can renumber them automatically. I will filter horizontal grids again and I can renumber them by uppercase letters as were before, mark, and as you can see the grid has, has been renumbered and all grids after it as well. I can also renumber it by different configuration, for example, A, B, lowercase letters, mark, and the new name has been generated. But for now, I will leave it as is, uppercase A, mark, the grids have been renumbered, now I will filter my vertical grids and I will mark them also by numbers, but I will add a symbol to it. Mark and my grids, as you can see, have been renumbered. OK. And now I can see these changes in the project. The grids have been renumbered. Also with BIM Tree Manager, I can replace curtain walls with windows. In early stages of a project, architects tend to add curtain walls instead of windows in order to save time. For example, I have these elements that look like windows but are actually curtain walls. Later on, these elements have to be replaced with actual Revit windows. And if I would do that manually, that would take up a lot of time, especially if I would have more of these elements, because I will have to adjust every uh, window size manually. I would have to enter the width and height parameters, and that would take up a lot of time. But with BIM Tree Manager, I can do that automatically. So I will select these elements. these curtain walls and they will replace them with windows. Okay, BIM tree manager for selected elements. Now it's reading information only for selected elements. And there I have it. I can select all these curtain walls. I can also add or remove columns and I will add the width and height that is length for walls and unconnected height. Okay, so these are my curtain wall dimensions and uh, Revit will replace them with windows of the same size. So we'll select them and use function replace window. Now I can choose from all windows that are loaded to my project. For example, I will choose this one. And now the tool is creating windows for those curtain walls. Oh, continue. Don't know what happened, sorry. So yeah, the curtain walls have been replaced, as you can see, and the sizes have been transferred. These are actual Revit windows as well. So as you saw with BIM Tree Manager you will be able to control projects better with significant savings of time increase productivity, enhance workflow and BIM model quality by managing hundreds of grouped or sorted elements automatically. All AGCAD developed Autodesk Revit add-ons and BIM solutions are accessible through Tools for BIM Doc dashboard, a new separate interactive window in Revit that works like the project browser or properties window. 
So you can get free trial of BIM Tree Manager and experience its benefits by your own. You just need to go to agacad.com and download our Tools for BIM doc. Then when you will do that, you'll go to Store, My Tools and select Activate for Installed Product. Press Get Trial and fill the form with your personal data. Then you will press Get Free Trial Activation Code and the code will be sent to you to your email. So, thank you for listening.